I've got a tournament, Ben. My life is just as important as yours. Ben and Julie are characters that are great at what they do and are destined for success. Ben becomes more powerful and capable with his abilities, and Julie gains more opportunities and recognition for her skills. But these two lifestyles tend to constantly clash and perhaps would have never worked out after all, even if they were happy together. Elena disguises herself as Julie in a misguided attempt to win over Ben. It should be obvious that this would never work. This episode feels like yet another way to deconstruct Ben and Julie's relationship, but we've been down this road so many times in UA, it's tiresome to constantly see them fight, then make up, then fight, then make up, then fight, then make up, then fight, then make up. On the other hand, it shows just how great of a couple Gwevin is. That's what you do when you love somebody. No. You both make sacrifices for each other. They really got the idea of being a unit down to a T. Because it makes her happy. And when she's not happy, I'm not happy. UA gives a lot of development to Julie's career too, and it's great to see her progress. But cartoon or not, it's ridiculous at this point to believe that Gwen falling down an elevator is enough to break her leg when we've seen her get thrown through buildings every other week, even when completely caught off guard. Serpent's Trap relies on Ben using Goop to play him off as this big mastermind, but if Ben mistransformed, this would have failed immediately. In fact, Serpent's entire plot feels a bit pointless. His attack motivating Ben to abandon Julie was enough to set the tone, but actually having to see the mission just eats up time, and the actually interesting parts get overlooked. What do you want? Does it matter? It does. I just want you. That's not enough. The story would have been much better if it directly focused on Elena rather than spending most of its time trying to fool the audience. Honestly, it's pretty off-putting that Ben couldn't see through Elena's ruse. He was able to figure out Simeon's lies just by an offhand comment, and will later identify Albedo through the same means. But here, Julie acts completely different from herself, and Ben has no idea just because she's being subservient. Swooned or not, this just makes Ben look like an idiot. There is one offhand comment Ben makes that I really do like though. What's the point of International Mega Stardom if I can't abuse it for a few more minutes with my girl? It's usually a battle between Ben's fame and Julie's attention, but here Ben is trying to use his fame to give Julie attention, and might be finally realizing that they can't live in separate worlds if they're gonna be together. Although this gets disregarded quickly as Ben always chooses the mission in the end. An over serpent of all people. I don't know what it is about him that makes the right want to play him up as some real big threat that Kevin and Gwen can't handle alone and is smart enough to deceive Ben. Perhaps it's simply because he looks so goofy and we literally know nothing about him, but this threat level doesn't feel earned. Gwen shows concern for Julie's interest when she appears to give up her career for the sake of Ben, which is nice to see. Elena seemingly unlearns the morals she already learned from the last appearances, leading to two nearly identical scenes wrapping up the episode, a la Julie talking down Elena, right down to Ben suffocating on the chips. But speaking of look, the animation is surprising very good for an episode where not much happens. The chips of course look excellent, and the living buildings were a cool idea. But even though the animation itself is done well, most of the time there's not a chance to show it off. But you can tell the mundane parts look very on model and smooth. This episode actually remembers that Goop's UFO can't go under doorways for once, but also animates Goop as if the slime leads the UFO, not vice versa, making Goop's power set even more confusing. I can't give this episode any leeway with importance. It sets up two stories that are never going to be paid off, repeats the same bland and character development, and does nothing for the show, let alone the current story arc. The twist surrounding it does make it a little interesting, and it spikes a bit more interest in Elena and the so-called microchips. But after a slew of good UA episodes, the pendulum once again swings in the opposite direction. Maybe I don't know what love is, but now I know what hate is.